And now I want to uh, relate it to this, this same theory that we discussed uh, previously. Um, so, uh, Galois cohomology is non-abelian cohomology when the acting group is, uh, when G is a Galois group of uh, field extension, and usually uh, A will be some automorphism of a certain variety. Uh, so, here E over F will be a finite uh, Galois expansion. Will be this level. So this is fixed. Um, sometimes, uh, what? Uh, it will be infinite, and this will be both finite. But let me don't, don't touch on this uh, right now. Uh, <clears throat> V would be uh, uh, a fine variety uh, defined over F, and uh, <clears throat> and we defined. Extend, uh, extend the scalars to E. How do we? V E. You look at guys which are over E, isomorphic to a given one, uh, and of course, whatever is already isomorphic over F, uh, I, I want to think about it as uh, trivially. Uh, so this is. As, as one point, which will be the special point. Uh, this is a point except. V itself is special. And it is special just because we, we choose to think about it as a special line, right? I can twist things so that uh, another one will be special for me. <clears throat> and uh, my claim is that this is uh, exactly uh, the same as uh, a certain H1, and so maybe I'll fix another thing. A will be the automorphism uh, over E of E. Know it. The auto of a variety. What are the group automorphism of a uh, projective line? Mergus. Hmm? Right. This is this is uh, PSL two R uh, acting by Mergus automation. This is only by group. What about P two? Projective name. The automorphism group. This one. Uh, uh, well, by the way, I'm not talking about the fine varieties here. V was the fine, did I write? Yes. Uh, but this, this can be applied for projective varieties as well. Uh, for P2, uh, the group uh, uh, self uh, rational transformation of it is called the Kirmoyer group, it's infinite dimensional. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, or maybe take, uh, take C star. This is, this is a, a two-dimensional group. What is its isomorphism group as an algebraic group? Does anyone know? Hmm? No. 
כי זה אוטומופי של גוף אופסיס סתם. אז זה גרופ, זה גרופ אוטומופי. from V to V. Now, I claim there is a natural action of A on this guy. It's actually a precomposition. by assumption is something so this is this might be empty I call V prime a form if uh, I mean, this okay. I, I, so I need to add some uh, of V uh, if this is not empty and if this is either empty if not then I claim that uh, I mean in any case on this space you have an action metric position of elements of A or self automorphism of that guy I can first apply an automorphism and then Composed with a given isomorphism from here to there, and this will, will give me a null. And by A prime E with a special point? No, 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 not a special prime. point. No, 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 no. V, v, v prime E is the scalar extension. It's the same as, if you want, uh, E algebras isomorphism of take. E valued regular functions of V. Oh, sorry, I didn't find it. So this is an algebra. I take algebra of morphism, E algebra of morphism, to the, the uh, E valued regular functions of V. So we, uh, as we know, I mean, this is the basic setting of algebraic geometry that every map between fine spaces is actually a homomorphism 
between the corresponding uh, algebra of regular functions. So we, we may view, about, view this very algebraically as such, such a thing. Uh, so uh, when I put the E here means that uh, I'm taking E valid. You say there, in that in D, in D E over F B, yeah, it's a point that said with B special. Also oh, here, in D set, I don't have any special n. No, I know this is not a special, uh, not a point set, but I mean that V prime E is the special point of D E over F V prime. Uh, yes. So, uh, so what can you say about this action? Mm -hmm. uh, as an A space. This is this is an A space. This is my X. This space is my X. I act on it. But it's space for homogeneous. This, this is general nonsense. The space of isomorphism between two isomorphic objects is always a principal homogeneous space of the space of automorphism of either one. Um, and as you see, there is by action, there is a twisted A prime acting here, an automorphism group of this one, and A acting here. And this principal homogeneous space is actually more than just one principal homogeneous space. It's a principal homogeneous space with respect to both. So this, this should remind us of the twisting that we had before. But now I, I'm really focusing, I'm biasing by myself on this B. So uh, this is a principal, principal, thanks all my again, uh, homogeneous G A space. I mean, the principal homogeneity is about the A. So of course, if G act on this, I mean G act here, G act there, and G act on the space of maps and here to my, my, conjugating, my conjugating action, conjugating maps. And uh, so there's a natural action here, it is compatible with that one. So this is not only an A space, it's a G, G A space. Forget the G space for a minute, the G structure for a minute. Uh, I claim that for every two isomorphism, I can uh, compose one with the inverse of another, and getting an element of A. So, uh, so it means that the action is homogeneous. Sorry? The action is transitive. The, the, uh, the, the, the A transitivity is somehow there. And, uh, and, oh. So, so this means. So this is P if you wish. So given this guy, we got that guy. So we get a map. Basically, I will construct for you uh, a map in the in the other direction. And again, let me remark that uh, here I'm assuming V is fine. This is not true in general. No, no, no. This is not true in general, but uh, in order to make this precise, V should be quite protected. But we we will do only the fine ones uh, right now. So I don't want to, to bother. Uh, okay. I, I, 
wrote to myself one line. Uh, the map back is given by uh, twisting uh, the G structure on uh, E. So, of course, now, now I'm relying on what we did last time. Uh, oh, by the way, oh, uh, last time I thought, and I, I was corrected by you, I, I wrote an isomorphism, H1 is the same as a certain set, and I did not take a certain equivalence relation, which I, which I, which I should have taken, and then uh, some of you uh, asked me to do it, and I did it, and I don't know why, uh, I should have. But now, anyway, I, I'm, just, I'm taking a slightly different point of view. Um, assuming every the principal homogeneous space here, like that, but I don't know a priori to, to, to be obtained for that. I want to come up with some V prime here. How should I do it? So we explained last time that whenever I will put on E V a G action that extends so I have a constant function in E V and I'm having the Galois action here. And if I can extend this action to a Galois action here, this should be dotted, right? Uh, this will give me a V prime, which is uh, which is the spectrum of E V. So that last time we explained why such a thing is always indeed uh, an F form of it, right? Explain why this is why this this is uh, is. Some work. No, no, this is not the um, So remember, we, we, we view this as an F algebra, and we, we saw that uh, the, the invariants are a finite generated F algebra with the basic theorem of uh, invariant theory. And also, we showed that uh, tensoring back with E will give, uh, will give us everything. And this basically was the independence of characters. <coughs> So nothing was too bad, but uh, uh, we, uh, some work is required. By, 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 but anyway, now I'm given P, and I need to construct this extend, extended action. But we discussed exactly ways to do it, right? Uh, we, we discussed twisting of action. Uh, by twisting. G action on E V. So the given. We have a given Galois action on E V coming from the V stuff, the structure, the S structure of V. By twisting it using P, we get a new action. Hence a form. No, uh, I, uh, of course, by this, I, I, I'm not done yet, but uh, I, I described now the idea. By this, uh, I'm, I'm, I described a map here, and after it is left to you, uh, check that those maps. Okay, but uh, so here is a legitimate uh, remark. This is exactly what I want to address. When I describe twisting, and I, I, I mainly uh, discussed uh, multiplication by P, 
splitting using P, uh, using this homogeneous space, and that just uh, twisted the G action, but it didn't preserve a priori any extra structure. But now, uh, so we had uh, here one, two, three, and it was, actually now it is better to take two or three. Maybe two is, is, is the easiest. Uh, taking When twisting, take the two point of view. I will add a call. So uh, I'm having A and I'm having A. A now is the automorphism of E D. And it does act on say E D. Now, now I don't want to be geometric. I want to think algebraically. Think about about this as the automorphism of algebra. This is why I insist on of being on being defined. And uh, now I'm having, instead of thinking P, I think S, I'm having this section, and I'm, get, I'm having uh, SG or S inside here. And this guy acts on this, and so, and this is what we said about S, right? So, uh, the twist of G action. The observation is the following, the twisted G action, what kind of structure does it preserve? Preserves, I'm letting the lesson as well, then I'll move to some point. Uh, preserves whatever structure one, S of G, is a subgroup of the semi-direct product. If the semi-direct product preserves a certain structure, this structure is preserved by S of G as well. Uh, that is preserved by Because both G and E and, and A do extending uh, the G action <coughs> on on E. Right? I have to, here, this wasn't an arbitrary action of G. Of course, G should have act by F of movement here. In a compatible way to the Galois action on the constraints. But since uh, the, this guy, I mean, this guy, the semi direct product, do that. Oh, I guess the fact that uh, G here is a leaf, so it, 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 it is over G. The action on the constant is themselves is just factored through G. So by lifting, I didn't change that. So I'm okay. I, I'm, I'm acting in, in, in the right way. So I'm twisting this action, I'm getting a new G structure, and I can do whatever we discussed last time, get the spectrum of the G invariance, which is another form. 
this is uh, by uh, descent. So I think this, this uh, the, the whole language is very much different from the language that uh, Weil uh, was using. I think this was taken up by Gordon Dick and he uh, make it uh, much more uh, abstract, but also much more uh, easy to deal with all those things. Well, what, so what did Weil do? The whole thing is just language. Well, no, no. So the thing is that uh, it looks like the whole thing is just language, but uh, the, the, the actual geometric part is, uh, is showing that uh, the spectrum here is a form, which we did last time. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's algebra, right? But uh, last time we, we had some uh, we had some contrast to the things, and also uh, the formulation of uh, this set. Again, I guess he did form it in, so in different language, and I'm not sure what was his. But uh, a formulation which is kind of depends only on G on A, not on the various fields and the variety itself. So to understand that uh, this is an invariant of G and A alone, and, uh, and this stuff is very, uh, very, very useful. Sometimes you want to compute this set for some varieties bit, and then you use, a, use another variety which has the same automorphism group just to do it, and so and you use this identification. Make, make it uh, very easy. Also, I think this became now. Uh, okay, we will discuss various examples. We see, we see how we can, we can take this point of view. Sometimes the identification, of course, helps in both ways. But sometimes just the fact that we we know that this is an H one of some sort really helps in computing. It, it's not empty. Uh, okay, so. Uh, Let me, uh, again, look at, so uh, by this remark, uh, we are done with the identification, but uh, this remark is this. Uh, I want to emphasize the word. The word as a structure. Um, if, so, um, so far, we discussed a fine variety, but now take a variety with some extra structure. I, I want to say that we, we, we proved more than we stated, and I don't want to state the most general uh, theorem. I want to, uh, to, to illustrate by the most important example for us, uh, the, extra the extra thing that we proved. Example. Assume V is an algebraic one. Um, so we, we may define uh, D, I don't know, uh, E, F, V, and by whom, maybe, I, I should, I'm not sure about this, what notation should I take. I can look at all algebraic groups. Uh, don't think of V as a variety. Think of V as an algebraic group, a fine algebraic group, and look at all the V primes, which are, again, F algebraic groups that become uh, isomorphic to V after, after extending the scalars to V. Then define, redefine A to be the automorphisms, the E automorphisms of of VE as an algebraic group. Put it somewhere. If you want, in a more algebraic uh, form, think about the algebra EV and take the automorphism of this E algebra, but preserve also the extra structure coming from the group structure on V. So think about it as an op algebra, and take the op algebra automorphism of that. So this will be my A, right? What, what I want to claim is that the whole proof just goes through. Uh, if V prime is another F algebraic group, I can look at all isomorphism of algebraic groups between the, the, the extended, extended uh, varieties. And this will be 
I mean, I'm, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, all four, I don't know. Um, this would be the principle of Jesus' space. As long as I'm restricting myself in the same way, I'm specifying myself what kind of extra structure I want to, uh, to preserve. So this is the principle of Jesus' space, and I do get this map again. And the claim is that everything uh, goes through. So uh, the whatever structure that I emphasize here, in this case, will be the op algebra structure, and it will be preserved under the G action, under the twisted G action. So when I when I cook V prime here as a spectrum of the G invariance of E V, in this case E V will be an op algebra. And G will act by automorphism of an of algebra, and, 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 and this will be a, a sub of algebra, actually a sub f of algebra, and this will be then uh, an f algebra. Okay. Uh, so, that And similar statements will go for whatever extra structure that you can imagine that fits. Right. And again, I, I don't want to be too formal about it. How am I in time? Four minutes late. So it's, it's great about that. So. Uh, but uh, so what comes next? So we uh, we prove the main thing that we wanted. And the next thing is uh, well computation. I wanted to compute some examples. We'll do it next time. Uh, and to prove some uh, basic theorems about it. We want to use those. It's not just 